So recently I had a clogged toilet. When you push the toilet lever, it would release more water, but the toilet water would just rise in the bowl. In fact, in some cases, it even backed up into the tub that was next door. At first, I thought it was a tub issue, so I tried clearing the tub. I've had a lot of practice since many people that use this tub have long hair. This was the wrong way to go. The actual clog was not in the tub, nor was it in the toilet per se. Because the water was backing up into the tub, I had determined the clog was more in the main line. It was actually below the toilet in the main pipe. So after determining this, that it was not a tub issue, I started working on the toilet because the only way I had access to the main was through the toilet at this point. The first thing I did was use my trusty plunger. I had this plunger in the garage for years, just waiting for some action. So I lift the toilet seat, put the plunger into the toilet, push down frantically, hoping to break up whatever is down there and let the water pressure go through. I plunged and plunged. Nothing would let the water drain. For a few minutes, I even tried a snake. I had a, a snake lying around in the garage, just waiting to be used, just like the plunger. But it was useless, unless I was going to get real aggressive with the snake, which I don't recommend you do with the snake I have, because the snake I had was all metal, and it could easily scratch the bottom of your toilet. Here I show you a picture of what it looks like if you do that. You want a good snake, one with a plastic sleeve on it. And it won't scratch the toilet if you use it correctly. Here I'll show you a picture of one that looks good. Notice the plastic sleeve that stops you from scratching the bottom of the toilet. You would put that in the very bottom of the toilet so that it wouldn't scratch it. Needless to say, I didn't have good luck with the snake either. I just had a long metal snake and even as I was using it, I knew better not to use it. So I found a guy on YouTube that was using a bucket of water to clear a clog in the toilet. I, th I didn't think much of this. I thought, man, that guy has some clickbait going on there. But eventually I watched the video. The first thing I did was use my wet dry vac and vacuum out some of the water that was in the bottom of the toilet at the time. It was pretty clean water. It wasn't polluted water, so I didn't mind using my vacuum. But if it was polluted water, I would definitely not use my vacuum. What the guy said to do is put hot water in a bucket with soapy water, like from dish soap, and run the hot water until it got really hot from your sink. That's about 120 degrees. I would not use boiled water like some videos suggest because that could damage the wax ring. So what you do is fill the bucket of water, put a little bit of soap in it, and let it sit there for a few minutes. My bucket is about two quarts, so it was really easy to put in my sink. And I put it in a different sink, not one near the toilet that was having trouble. So I waited, but I repeated the process. I got another bucket of water and poured it in, let, waited five minutes. I re repeated the process maybe three times. Finally, I heard a big gulp. and the toilet was free of whatever held it from going down. Now, I told you earlier not to use the plunger. The reason being was the plunger, I used it rather quickly. And what the plunger does is force water pressure through the pipe with a lot of force. Because the main was clogged, the water pressure had no place to go at the time. The water found its way out, of course, but it busted a hole in my wax ring. So even though I fixed the toilet, now I had a leak in my wax ring, which I had to take care of. 
So I replaced the wax ring. I'm pretty good at uh, replacing the rings nowadays. I have a video on tips on how to replace a ring. You should watch it if you haven't watched it already. It takes me about 30 minutes to replace a ring. Say you should be careful using a plunger. I know it looks easy, but on a toilet, it could damage your ring. I don't think it's a big problem for a sink or a tub, things like that. But because the toilet has a wax ring, you're going to have trouble if you use a plunger. Finally, this is how I clear the toilet with a bucket of water. I have a link in the description below for a wax ring that I recommend if you need to replace your wax ring. I don't recommend you get the wax ring from Home Depot with the plastic retainer on it. It's like a funnel. Uh, the plumber I watch says don't use those, that they break down a lot. 